Well, France 24 sports editor Simon Harding was in and amongst a fervent crowd at the Stade Amadou to soak it all in. Simon, it was a quality game with beautiful interplay for all the goals, especially Senegal's. Overall, could we say that the Lions are at last showing what they're made of? Yes, you get the sense that finally, finally, we're seeing the real face of the Lions of Teranga. And it's taken quite some time. Uh, now, it is true that Senegal did play quite well in patches of the game. But it's important to stress that it was in patches, Jaimil, because they scored the opening goal through Diedu, as you mentioned. But after that, they kind of sat back, allowed Equatorial Guinea to get a foothold back into the game, uh, to use their pace, particularly up front. And uh, the African Minnows really delivered at the start of the second half. There was that controversial um, handball you mentioned when uh, Ivan Salvador tried to poke it through to his teammate and then of course uh, the goal itself. Senegal had to uh, come back from that because it was the first goal that they've conceded here in Cameroon during the entire tournament so we saw also a different side of Alou Cisse's uh, team a little bit more of a mental fortitude and ability to bounce back from a setback and they delivered in style but what is the most uh, impressive and the most important to stress is the the strength and depth of this Senegal side because it is the bench and the substitutes that really made the difference with Sheikho Kouyate of Crystal Palace and uh, then Ismail Assar of Watford coming on to score goals two and three and to therefore secure uh, the points. So Senegal, uh, we can say, finally playing to their full potential, finally showing uh, the crowd and their supporters who have been demanding that they play a lot better, a little bit more. And of course, they're going to have to even improve a little bit more on what they showed in this match because against Burkina Faso in the semi-finals it's not going to be an easy one. Thanks Simon, that's uh, obviously showing that inventive play that Senegal are, are now bringing to the equation. For Equatorial Guinea, Ruben, uh, the dream is over. They've shown such great resilience but they just uh, came up against a too strong an opposition in the end. Yes, well, we shouldn't forget the amazing run they've had during this tournament. I mean, beating uh, Algeria, also eliminating Mali on the way. So they can be really proud. We shouldn't forget that there were a lot of players from the third or fourth Spanish division on the pitch today. So it's really impressive what they've done. It's just, yeah, uh, we'll never know what if the penalty call, etc., etc. But we also should be honest and they will be as well. I think that over for most of the match today, um, uh, Senegal was just a better team. It was for me. I was I was really happy to see them finally playing also some attacking football because playing against Mali it was only yeah preventing the uh, the opponents from scoring and now while being behind finally they stood up and they played and then we saw what an exciting team they can be. So I think that also that will be a, a good lesson for them. I hope and that we will see them also a little bit more offensive uh, in the next uh, hopefully in the next Africa Cup of Nations. Well, that's claiming two scalps, mighty Algeria and Mali on the way to this uh, quarterfinal. Uh, a great effort there, it has to be said, for the Equatorial Guinea. Well.